Okay, and for our fourth example, we have a bag of marbles. I'll draw my bag of marbles. I have five red marbles. One, two, three, four, five. I have four blue. One, two, three, four. And then I have six green. Now I don't have green color, so I'm gonna do black G for green. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're gonna find the probability for each when the first marble is not replaced back in the bag. Okay, so then here we have two events, right? So two things are happening. We're gonna pick two marbles. The, after the first marble, after we pick the first marble, we're not going to put it back in the bag, okay? It's not gonna be replaced back in. So we pick one, then that one stays out of the bag. And then we're gonna pick our second marble. Okay, so that's the, uh, my, my two events. And remember, the second event, because after we pick the first marble, we're not gonna replace it back in, so that's gonna affect the probability of that second marble, right? So the, this would be, um, or both of these would be considered dependent events, because the second one is affected by that first event. So, let's first talk about this event, the probability of picking a green. That's our first pick, green. So probability, we, we look at the desired outcome over the total possible number of outcomes. How many green marbles do I have? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is gonna be my top number over how many marbles do I have total in all? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15. So that's going to right there. So the probability of picking a green is 6 over 15. Now, I, it's a still a fraction, so I still have to simplify it, right? What number goes into both 6 and 15? They share a factor of 3. So this is going to be 2 over 5. The probability of picking a green is 2 over 5. Well, then, now I have to pick my second marble, and that's gonna be red. Now, because that first marble was not replaced back in the bag, this marble, one of the green, is now gone, right? It's no longer in there. So probability of picking the red. How many reds do I have? I have five red marbles, five on top, over how many marbles do I have now? Well, after that one's gone, I have 14 left, right? So it was 15 and then minus the one that we already picked. So that's five over 14. Okay, so the probability, and now this fraction I can't simplify, right? So that's the probability of picking the red. So now I can define the probability of both happening. I take this one and I take this one and I multiply it together. So it'll be probability of the green times the probability of picking the red. And this is dependent, so it's the red after green. So 2 over 5 times 5 over 14. 2 times 5 is 10. 5 times 14 14 times 5, we do this, right? That's 20. 5 times 1 plus the 2 is 70. Now, fraction, so I have to simplify it. What number goes into both, top and bottom? 10, so I divide by 10 for each. I get 1 over 7 as my answer. So the probability of picking a green, and then afterwards, without replacing it back in, Picking a red marble is 1 over 7. Okay, let me write this for this second problem. Now we want to find the probability of picking a blue, and then afterwards, without replacing it back in, pick another blue. 
So again, two dependent events. So probability of picking the first blue, the first event. What's my desired outcome? How many number, um, or how many blue marbles do I have here in the bag? I have four blue over a total of 15 marbles. So the probability of picking a blue marble is 4 over 15. I can't simplify it, so that's the probability. And then for my second pick, because, again, it's not being replaced in the bag, this one is no longer in the bag. So I have one less marble. So for my second pick, I want to look at how many blue marbles I have left. I have three left. I had four, but one's gone. So now I have three. Over, and then I don't have 15 anymore. I have 14 now. So probability of picking the first blue was four out of 15. Because I had all my blue, which is four of them, out of a total of 15 marbles. For my second pick, I'm also um, wanting to pick another blue one. I only have three left because the first one was replaced back in out of a total of 14 marbles left. So now I'm going to take the first event and then multiply it to the probability of the second event happening. So it's 4 over 15 times 3 over 14. 4 times 3 is 12 over 15 times 14. Okay, you're going to multiply it. This is 20. That's 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. Okay, I leave the space alone. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 1, 1. I'm going to add them down. 0. This is 11. This is 2. So, 210. Okay, now, I know I can simplify this fraction because this number is an even number and this number is an even number. So, let's divide each of these by 2. Oops. So, 12 divided by 2 is 6 over this. If I take the 200 and I divide it by 2, I get 100. So this divided by 2 is 100. This divided by 2 is 5. So if I divide the whole thing, it'll be 105. OK. Now, it looks like 6 over 105. I also have another factor. So I can divide this again by. I know 3 goes into that one, and 3 also goes into this one. So 6 divided by 3 is, write it down here, 2 over 105 divided by 3. Okay, let me show you that one. So 3 goes into 10 3 times. That gives you a 9. Subtract it. I get 1 left over. Bring down the 5. 3 goes into 15. 5 times, that gives you 15. We subtract it. I have no remainders. So my answer is 35. Okay, can I simplify this further? Okay, no, I can't because this is not an even number. So this is my answer. So again, finding the probability of two events, you have to find the probability of each event occurring, and then you're going to multiply them together, whether it's independent or dependent events. And that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching educator.com.